Hey traders, John Howell here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about more about what's been happening in the inflation cycle and what's going to, what's likely to happen moving forward and also how we can actually benefit from what's happening with the inflation um, boom, bust, boom, bust uh, cycle that we're, that we're likely to see moving forward. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into it. So the one thing I wanna share with you today is something that I was talking with my private clients about today. Um, and by the way, guys, if you are interested in becoming a private client, first thing in the description, click on that and you can see all the details over there as well. Um, so looking at the inflation rate and the inflation number here, the, the really interesting thing is that I was talking with my private clients today about how history is just repeating itself, right? Cycles are happening again and again and again for the exact same reasons. And this is just cycle analysis working again and again and again, right? So... The whole thing about that, the whole thing about what's going on right now in um, in, in the inflation is, is we can see that every time we've had inflation issues, the same sort of things have happened, right? We had issues, we had an inflation problem in the 40s, we had a pre inflation problem in the 70s, and now we're going to have another inflation problem in the 2020s, right? It's going to be inf it's going to be 2020 inflation throughout th throughout the entire decade. We know that, right? So, or actually, you may not know that, but that's that's what's coming moving forward, right? So, the whole thing about that, and the whole thing about what we're seeing through here with the inflation rate and the inflation number is guess what? Is that we can actually see that there is a rhythm. There's actually a cycle to what's what has happened and what's probably likely to happen. And what is that cycle? Every time we get an inflation spike, first we get what? We get a inflation drop. What is that caused by? Tightening, recession, stuff like that. Then suddenly we get the second spike is much higher than the second spike. Why? Well, the exact same thing that happened back in COVID. Let's just keep it that simple, right? So then look what happened back in the 70s. 70s is what? First spike, move, then inflationary drop. Why? Recession, tightening interest rates, et cetera, et cetera. What, then the second move up was what? Higher than the first move. Why? Because when we're looking for the higher than the first move, we can actually see that, um, that it was... Uh, that obviously what what caused the second in reflation, right? It's the exact same thing that caused, that happened, basically happened in 2020, right? The, the dropping of interest rates, the QE stuff and so forth. But look what happened here, right? A move up. Why did this inflationary spike? Oh, that's right, low interest rates, QE. So what's likely to happen? Oh, we're likely to get what? We're likely to get dropped down to maybe five or four down here somewhere. And then, let's, and then, and then guess what's likely to happen? We're likely to do what? We're likely to get a secondary spike, which is going to be higher than the first spike. What's going to cause that? Oh, that's right. Dropping of interest rates, ground of QE, and so on and so forth. So if we actually know that's a really high probability of what that, that's coming, right, over the next couple of years, then what what are the main assets, I believe, are going to benefit from that? And the, one of the main assets, I believe, is going to be what I call a super cycle boom, is one the main asset, I believe, is going to be the gold mining stocks. Now, in particular, my sort of baby, in a sense, is the GDXJ. And I believe the GDXJ, um, once we get on the other side, once we get the inflation coming down to more and more, and then we start the we pause, we cut, QE, that's what's going to happen over the next two years. Then we're going to see we're going to, we're going to start to see this GDXJ absolutely go through a massive super cycle boom, right? That's what we're probably going to see. And so, therefore, guys, I wanted to share this with you. Now, I believe the stock market is probably going to go crazy when the QE does happen and all that sort of stuff, right? Things that commodity prices are going to go crazy. But one of the big things I'm really confident in is seeing the gold mining stocks really make some big moves because we're down here at the ultra lows, and and as you can see, right, that the mining sector didn't really do much. In the 2020, right? We had to move up and then we had to pull back, right? I believe now on the next side that we're going to see an absolute massive sort of super cycle, um, super, super cycle boom in the gold mining stock. So there we go, guys. A bit of a, there's a bit of a bit of a blank, a bit of an overall statement of overall thing that I'm doing right now myself with my investing portfolio and what I'm actually doing through here. Um, there's obviously a few other things that, that I can touch on here, but the, the main thing here, guys, is that it's very obvious about what's coming in the markets, right? which is the inflation, 
and then the dropping, and then the inflation again, and what's going to cause that, and so on and so forth, right? So, and then obviously on the back of that, that, it, that on the back of that next reflation, which is going to happen over the next couple of years, I believe the gold mining stocks are going to be the one, especially the gold junior mining stocks, are going to be the one where we're going to we're going to probably enter into a super cycle boom.